What's it like shooting with John? Well, you tell me. He's kind of like those actors sort of throughout the 70s and 80s that would show up on set like either hungover or sort of like high on, on some sort of narcotic and then just sort of like do what they needed to do, do one take of it and then the rest of the day is fucked. Like they can't, they can't function for the rest of the day. They're just wandering. They're like, do we get it? And then they're out. Uh, John likes to get in character beforehand. Like I've never seen an actor lick his balls. Why wasn't John, was it buddy? You can see it in his eyes. It's a dead giveaway, John. John, John. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, little trooper. Do what you want. That was fantastic. What a good time. Kyle, thank you. At first, when I met John, I was quite nervous. I was a little bit starstruck. And I really wanted him to like me. And, you know, he was friendly, but we weren't friends. But I feel like now we've become friends. It feels good. Not long now, I reckon. Josh will be devastated. You've been good for him. He goes, he answers the door, whoa, 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 comes back. He goes, did it. We sit him down, we make him do it again. He goes, oh, this again. I just did it. Just did a perfect tank. They're making me do it again. Well, oh, you stuffed up the cameras or something. That's not my fault, is it? It's not my fault, is it? You stuffed up the cameras. Oh, boom, got in shot. That's not my fault, is it? I was perfect. Time after time after time. But of course he wouldn't say any of that because he's a professional, he internalizes all that. And what he vocalizes is he says, sure thing. <laughs>